So over the last 20 years, we've found that the red-legged frog um, populations are um, on the severe decline. Yeah, they're gonna start absorbing. <sighs> In down here in Baja, California, um, the head of Fano, Annie Peralta, discovered uh, 10 remnant populations that the group has been working on restoring the habitat and bringing the population numbers up. And this particular pond is filled with their metamorphs. And metamorphs is a little froglet that's just hatched out um, of their eggs into tadpoles. So we've been translocating eggs from this population across the international border into Southern California and re-establishing California's largest native frog back into areas that have blinked out and are no longer populated by the frog. We traveled about 280 miles north of where we were before at our restoration sites down in Mexico. And here now we're at one of our release ponds here in Southern California. So uh, the U.S. populations um, are monitored annually, and this year we deployed microphones around all the ponds, and with the help of an AI acoustic model, we've been analyzing the sounds that we've been recording. You know, Pacific tree frogs, or um, the red-legged frogs, which is a lot more subtle. Uh, um, those types of sounds will be picked up by this little unit. And so the acoustic model in the AI system helps us sort through this really um, mixture of sounds and it lets us hear what we're trying to hear, which is that really subtle call of the, um, of the California red-legged frog.